Hi, I'm Chef Jenny Dorsey. I'm here in beautiful Nicaragua as part of the Storyteller in Residence program sponsored by Hikaro Island Eco Lodge and Coffee Abroad. My project here is showcasing three different agricultural staples of Nicaragua and pairing them with a three course food and drink experience for guests. The idea is to show different guests how their food is produced, how it's harvested, how it's processed, how it's traditionally prepared, the flavor combinations um, you usually find them in, and ultimately being able to sample that ingredient um, in a final dish, as well as kind of experimentally um, trying it in a cocktail as well. So my favorite thing to do while traveling is going to different local markets. Uh, my husband likes to joke we've been to all the markets and none of the sites of places we've been, which is not completely true, but I think what's really amazing about markets is that no matter how many you go to, they're all a little different. In Nicaragua, we've been to two markets so far, one in Granada and one in Masaya. The Masaya one was more commerce focused than food. They're especially known for their shoes. So we saw tons of shoes, everything from sandals to boots and boat shoes which was incredible. Um, there's also a good amount of street food and some sweets there so we were able to sample some of the typical local sweets. A lot of like coconut sweets or um, milk based sweets, kind of like a fluffy yogurt milk nougat sort of situation. Um, but we also were able to sample a very delicious stewed beef and it's served with a cassava on a plantain leaf with a, a cabbage coleslaw which is really really typical here. Essentially served with everything. It's kind of tangy and because it's bright and acidic it cuts through the, like that heavier stewed meats and um, starches of the meal. But also in Granada because the market is based on around food you can see people kind of doing their everyday shopping from chicken, beef and pigs to um, fish to rice and beans as well as some of the different street foods. So we saw blood sausage being cooked. Fried chicken is very popular here, so we saw a lot of that. You know, typical soups and stew being, stews being prepared on the side um, of the markets, as well as you just see people like buying fish. You can have it scaled or not. You can have it filleted or not. Um, you see like a wide variety of different offals being sold because everyone uses everything here. There's, you know, tripe soup. There's whole heads of pigs that are typically cut down and then made into one big soup. So like nothing is wasted. So I'm debating what to make from all of the things that we've managed to see since ceviche is so popular here. I think I'll kind of do a take on that using raw corn juice and maybe a little bit of papaya and also ceviche like little pieces of cassava so it looks like fish um, and do like a sour orange sort of brine in it and sour oranges are popular and very delicious here so stay tuned we'll see